Hi everyone, it's Annalisa and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to discuss your ego and if the ego can keep you in lack energy and does that affect the twin flame journey? As we know, the twin flame journey is a journey of your soul. It is an awakening journey where your divine masculine came in to activate your soul and to help you let go of limiting beliefs and let go of fear and let go of anything negative that has been holding you back from reaching your highest version. And your ego, which can have a tendency to keep you in limiting beliefs. Now, not all of your ego is bad, right? We know that the ego is there to protect you. When your ego attempts to control what you are thinking and brings you back to a lower mindset, then that's going to affect you on this twin flame connection with your person. So being able to recognize your thoughts that are coming in regarding your divine masculine is going to be important. When you think of your divine masculine as someone who is better than you, or you constantly feel like you have to do for them, then that part of your ego, that part of your mind is holding you back. This journey is about self-love. This journey is about really to the core loving yourself. And the ego will try to get in the way and allow you to stay stuck in separation consciousness uh, letting you believe that your person, your divine masculine, is separate from you because you are in separation in the 3D. So when your ego allows you to feel in separation consciousness, then that is holding you back. Then you're stuck in lack energy. And when you're in lack energy, it's hard to allow your divine masculine to come back in. And when you're stuck in lack energy, your divine masculine cannot come back in. Your divine masculine can come back in when you're at a higher vibration, when you are feeling beautiful, when you are feeling good about yourself, no matter what is happening around you, no matter if your 3D doesn't look the way you want it to. And really keeping that vibration high is going to be the key here. So your ego needs to take a back seat when it comes to feeding you negative thoughts because your thoughts then become your emotions and your emotions is what your frequency is and that is what goes out to the universe if your frequency is low then your 3d world is reflecting a lower 3d um, and then that is what your divine masculine is showing you separation consciousness so your ego um, really is something to be consciously aware of when your thoughts come to mind that you're not good enough, you have core wounds that you can't get rid of, um, your 3D doesn't look the way you want it to, you don't have the job that you want, you don't have the card that you want, um, your circle of friends is not exactly making you happy. If you're looking at everything as you're not happy because of this, because of that, then your ego is taking over and keeping you in a lack energy. So Divine Feminines, it's really important to recognize that and really begin taking those steps um, in whatever way that is. A nice way to start is with affirmations, uh, self-talk uh, within yourself, visualization, uh, whatever it may be that works for you to really get out of that lower uh, energy uh, where your ego is taking over and this whole connection is beautiful because you now have the opportunity to work on yourself when you are in separation so don't look at separation as oh my gosh he doesn't love me she doesn't love me when are they going to come back in oh they don't deserve me i'm better than them you know sometimes it goes that way too uh, there could be times where you don't feel good enough and then there are times where you feel angry and you just don't want anything to do with them but all of that is your ego all of that is your mind taking over and this journey is helping you to let go of parts of your ego that still is holding on to limiting beliefs 
to those beliefs that say you're not good enough. You aren't worthy of their love. You absolutely are worthy. And it all starts from in here, from your heart center, right? Remember, your kundalini, your energy force that has been activated is wants to flow through your body. And the more that you release the layers of your ego, the more your kundalini begins to effortlessly begin to flow through your system. And that is so beautiful because you will then start to feel a different vibration about yourself. You will accept where you are. You will have gratitude for everything around you. Even when things don't look like how you want them to be, you're still having gratitude. And you know that there is always that inner work to do before getting to that timeline. So the ego is there for a purpose, but when it keeps you captive, it keeps you stuck, then that is what you want to release. And that is why your divine masculine came in, is to activate your soul to help you work on yourself. And that is why your divine masculine came in, is to help you realize who you are and the truth of your essence and that you are able to love yourself. You are that love. You are that creator. You are creating with the divine. The divine is not separate from you, just as your divine masculine is not separate from you. You create. So it's about letting go of the ego that's holding you back and creating what you want to see in your outer world. But it's all frequency. It's all energy, right? So it's a game of energy. And that is what this 3D planet is all about. It's like playing a video game. If any of you out there play video games or your uh, partners or your children play video games, when you're playing a video game, you take on a certain avatar with certain skills and you become that person uh, playing that video game. And that is what Earth is. You, if you want to attract something more and something better, you want to put on that avatar and envision and really come to that frequency of who you want to be and loving yourself to that degree of that avatar, right? It's all simply an illusion. It's all simply a game. So when your avatar changes and you become that loving, beautiful person that you know you are inside, then it's going to show on the outside as well. And that is where your ego, you're able to put the ego in the back seat when it gets in the way. And it's constantly being uh, reminding yourself to put the ego uh, in the back seat because it's always going to want to get in the way. It's always going to try to interfere with positivity. But the more that you work on this, the easier it becomes. And going back to the video game, the more you play the same video game with the same avatar, the better you get at it and then you learn how to win. So it's about winning over your thoughts, not allowing your thoughts to become negative emotions and that's what is sending out to the universe. You want those thoughts to be positive where the universe is going to reflect that back to you. Um, so yeah, really getting rid of the ego that's holding you back uh, is going to be really important in this uh, connection with your divine masculine. So I hope this is helpful. If you need help, um, I do have my workshop, I Balance Me, that is coming up on the 27th. Registration ends on the 26th, so feel free to check that out. I also have one-on-one -on -one coaching, my course, uh, so feel free to check out my website. I'm sending you all so much love.